So a couple of weeks ago, Repco had a sale on where their normally $69 garage creeper was $29, and I thought I'd take advantage of it. Unfortunately, no stores in Perth, where I live, had stock. But that's really easy to get by, because all you have to do is buy it online for a click and collect order at your nearest store. They will ship it to that store for no extra cost, so you don't have to pay for shipping. So that's what I did, and about a week later, my garage creeper arrived. Now, this one's made of plastic, and it's perfect because I'm not a professional mechanic and even if the quality wasn't that good it would still likely outlive my lifetime. So it's pretty light, uh, it didn't weigh much, you can easily carry it with one hand and unboxing it, it's pretty basic um, although everything is laid out pretty well and the instructions are really clear. The Creeper already has the foam pad for your head uh, already mounted the caster wheels are not mounted and uh, you need to put that on yourself. So everything, uh, all of the hardware is included and it's all coated either in oil or grease. Uh, the grease is for the ball bearings on the casters, which is good to see for a product that's priced in this sort of price range that they can drop down to $29 on sale. Um, that it actually has really good ball bearings on the casters uh, that's packed with grease already so they should last quite a while. It's pretty easy to put the caster wheels on. There are two bolts with nuts for each wheel and there's also a sleeve which goes through uh, holes that are pre-drilled in the creeper for you to insert. So you're not crushing down on the actual plastic itself when you tighten the bolts, you're crushing down on the actual steel sleeve. Now I tried to get the sleeves uh, from the top side down and uh, I thought I might have to drill the holes a bit more myself. It turns out that it's a little bit tapered. The sleeves will only go on from underneath the creeper. Now Mech Pro very handily provide a plastic hex tool to tighten the nuts down with. Uh, although, if you do tighten them a little bit too much, the plastic tool will slip. And later on, I'm gonna put on uh, just a normal socket and nip them up. They don't have to be gorilla tight, but the plastic tool didn't tighten it enough to my liking. And just in case you're wondering, it's a 10 millimeter socket. So I noticed that sometimes it will also stand on its own, which is pretty handy, uh, but also on some surfaces it will fall over. Not that that's a big deal, but you know, it's worth mentioning. There is a nice carry handle built in as well. So if you feel like skating, you can grab it and I guess roll down the street. Now I used it just to lie under my car and spray everything down with lanolin and then give everything a wipe off and it worked perfectly. Uh, these are really handy to have. There's also some handy trays built in. So if you do want to put some tools down, you can. Uh, although I noticed while I was using it, that if you're fat like me, um, it's pretty hard to get to those little storage areas where you'd have your tools um, because, well, you cover it, you're in it. Uh, otherwise, it is pretty handy to have. So all in all, uh, the product feels really good. It's built really well. The instructions are clear. The hardware all looks to be stainless steel. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it will last a very long time. So thumbs up.